finally got my hands on a slingshot UFO. It's been hard to get hold of these because they keep selling out. In this video, I'm gonna see what all the hype is about this completely strutless kite. Let's go. The first thing you'll notice about this kite is how small the bag is. It's literally half the size of a normal kite bag. The reason you can pack it down so small is because there's no struts to take up the space. It just looks weird. There's no middle strut, nothing. No struts. The UFO comes in sizes 3, 5, 7 and 9 and is specifically designed by Slingshot to be the ultimate foil kite. The kite is incredibly lightweight. It's actually one of the lightest kites on the market. This massively increases the performance when hydrofoiling as it makes it more efficient. It also very rarely falls out the sky when it's at the edge of the window in light wind. And this is a game changer when foiling. Wow, first impressions are it's so maneuverable. It turns on a dime. Very forward flying, tons of D-pad, but also tons of power as well, like lots of sheet and go power. I think the lightweight canopy makes a huge difference in performance in light airs. Let's try it out. Start it up.
UFO is my new favorite foiling kite. It's so impressive, yeah, how good it is in light wind. Having no struts and it being super lightweight just makes it fly so well. You know, occasionally in light wind when the kite kind of falls out of the sky and it wants to kind of fall into the water just because of the sheer weight of the kite and the wind's not holding up the fabric. Where this kite is so light, that never happens. You, you never worry about crashing the kite in light wind because everybody does it once. You, you kite really far out in marginal wind, crash your kite and then you can't relaunch. Um, but this is just way less chance of that happening. Yes, if you do crash it, you know, you're at risk of not being able to relaunch it because it doesn't have that center strut. However, there's way less chance of that happening. And I'd way rather have a strutless kite um, than yeah, a kite with a strut so I could potentially launch it better because there's much less chance of crashing it. Super maneuverable, turns on a dime, drifts really well. I don't know what else to say, it's just so good. Um, I was on a seven meter today and it's about 10 knots. I was, it was wind against tide, which makes it really, really good uh, foiling here. But yeah, Woo, it is insane, that thing. Um, also really impressed with the dwarf craft as well. It's very similar to the micro I had before, but a bit smaller, a bit wider, really nice big EVA deck pad that was super grippy and nice to stand on um, even with boots as well so overall super stoked on my new setup oh also i better mention the sentry bar as well having that pu coated center line um it's just a super nice bar so i'm really stoked on all my gear at the moment but yeah thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed the video please subscribe big ups for dave for helping me film some drone clips and i'll see you in the next video peace out